so here I have question number seven for our discussion, which belongs to the chapter Human Eye and the Colorful World. This says a boy reads book from 25 centimeter distance, which is the minimum distance of distinct vision. We need to find out correct option among the given options. The first option says focal length of eye is maximum and ciliary muscles are relaxed. Option 2 says focal length of eye lens is minimum and ciliary muscles are maximum contract. Option 3 says focal length of eye lens is minimum and ciliary muscles are relaxed while option 4 says eye lens becomes thin and ciliary muscles are contracted. Now we know when our eye focus on to the far off object its focal length increases the lens becomes thin and ciliary muscles are relaxed. But when we focus on a nearby object our eye becomes thick or eye lens becomes thick our focal length decreases or becomes shorter and ciliary muscles are maximum strained. So out of all these given options option 2 is the correct option. So I can just mark this as the correct option. I can put this into the box. I hope that's clear to you. Now let's proceed towards question number 8. This says the apparent flattering of the sun disk at sunrise and sunset is due to we know this is due to the atmospheric refraction because light that is reaching us from the vertical diameter of the sun undergoes a refraction through the atmosphere or through the different layers of atmosphere and hence when we look at the sun its shape appears distorted okay so this flattering of the sun's disk is due to the atmospheric refraction so i can clearly mark and i can put this into the box moving on to the next question which says given ray diagram shows the recombination of a spectrum of white light by using glass prism see this is the diagram that we are given here n1 and n2 are the refractive indices of these two prisms and here also this question further says that a and a dash see here a and a dash are the respective angles of prism then which of the following conditions is correct for the occurrence of recombination recombination of white light will occur by using identical and inverted prism identical prism will be there when n1 and n2 will be equal okay also when angle of prism will be equal so if you have a look at the options you can clearly see here that option number three is the correct option so i can put this into the box so when n1 will be equal to n2 angle a will be equal to angle a prime then only these two prisms will be identical so this is going to be the identical and inverted prism as this one okay and hence the recombination of light will occur i hope this question is also very clear to you proceeding towards the discussion for the next question 